Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first of all, let's select this background layer and look here. Let's select only these layers. Let's see. Okay, and let's right mouse, pre compass, add name, base one. Click OK. Let's hide composition for select other layers. So right now let's select these layers. Okay, again right mouse, pre compass, add name, base two. Click OK. Again hide composition and select these layers. Let's select like this. Okay, again make someone. Pre compass, add name base 3, click OK, hide composition, and finally select base 4 layers. Let's right mouse, pre compass, and base 4. Click OK, and let's enable all compositions. Ok, let's select base 1, base 2, 3, and 4. Let's press P, make new passing keyframes, and select base 2, let's move it down. Select base 4, move to down also. Okay, and select base 1, let's move to up a little bit, and base 3, move to up. Okay, so let's go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use Hold Shift, press space down in keyboard, or click here for time duration. Right here, plus 10 for go to 10 keyframe. Click OK, and let's select this base 1, let's move to down. Select base 2, move to up, and select base 3, move to down, and base 4, move to up. Ok, go to 10 keyframe again, I will use shortcut, and select first keyframes, let's copy pass. I will make loop animation. So select all keyframes, let's right mouse, keyframe instant, easy ease, or click F9. Let's animation. Ok. So, this very fast animation, let's select all keyframes and hold Alt, move to right for slow animation. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So, right now, let's make endless loop animation. Let's hold Alt, click this time icon, and go to play button, property, and use loop duration. For done this expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Ok, loop animation with 3 chain frames, that's good. So let's make some way for other compositions. Let's close settings and again hold Alt, click time icon, go to play button, property and loop alteration. Click this empty area for dawn expression. Let's close here, again make someone, hold Alt, click this time icon, play button, property and loop alteration. And finally, hold Alt, click time icon, play button, property, and loop alteration. Okay, so let's say again. Nice. Okay, so let's select this layer cloth and press P, make new passing keyframe. Let's move to down, go to 10 keyframe. Let's move to up again, go 10 keyframe, select first keyframe, copy pass. Select keyframes, make easies. And let's hold Alt, move right. Let's hold Alt, click time icon, make someone, go to play button, property, and loop alteration. Nice. So, right now, let's go to shape layers, hold this icon, let's create ellipse tool, hold shift, make one ellipse, clearization tool, and go to stroke, let's select none for close stroke color, click OK and go to fill, let's select airdrop icon, select this color, click OK. And let's put here, let's press S, change scale. OK, and let's hold control, double click, pan behind icon for move to anchor point center. Click session tool, and move to here. OK, let's change scale 70. OK. So, right now, let's create new null object. I will use these four pads. And select this null, let's go to pen tool. And let's make mask like this. Oke, 
Okay, let's fix some problems. Okay, so in this time, classification tool, and let's open null here, and mask, mask one, and let's select this pad, control C, and hide null, select the shape layer one, press P, and let's select here, control V, and select all J frames, let's put here, okay, let's see, nice. So in this time, go to last shape frame and go to edit, split layer and delete. Okay. And select the shape layer, change name dot. Okay, and let's go to FS processor, effect glow. Select glow, let's use for this dot. And change glow settings. Let's see. Okay. And select dot, let's press S. Make scale chain frame, chain scale 0, and in this time, chain scale 70. Let's see. Nice. Select chain frame, move to right. Select scale chain frames, make easy. Okay, let's move to left like this. And go to graph editor. Let's select this graph, move to left. Okay, that's good. And right now, let's make again scale chain frame. Go to here, chain scale zero, and move to right. Okay, that's good. So select this dot. Let's move to behind base compositions. Also move to here. Let's move it up like this. Okay. And. Let's control D for duplicate, move to right, again control D, let's make more duplicates for loop animation, let's see, okay that's good, nice. So let's select this line 1 or line 4, okay let's use glow and change glow settings. Okay, let's duplicate this glow, change some settings. Okay, so let's select these two glow effects, Control C, select other lines, Control V. Nice. And let's select this layer cloth, let's use glow also, change glow settings. Okay, not bad. And let's use glow for base layers. Let's try change settings like this. Okay, let's use this glow for other base compositions. Okay, that's good. So, right now, select this null and press M. Let's delete mask and go to pen tool let's make mask like this classification tool and let's select this mask pad control c and let's select this layer dot Let's layer this and control D, move to up and press P, go to first second. Let's click here for close all passing chain frames and control V. Select passing chain frames and let's put here. Let's see. Nice. Let's move right a little bit. Okay, very nice. And let's control D. For duplicate again, let's animation. Okay, we're nice. Let's make some way for other layers. 
select null, press M, delete mask 1, and select null again, go to pen tool, let's make mask like this, Okay, Clization tool, select mask, let's open here, select mask pad, control C, and let's select this dot layer, control D, move to up, and move to left, press P, let's click here for delayed keyframes and control V, select all keyframes and move to here. Let's see, nice. Again, let's make duplicates with Ctrl D. Okay, that's good. Nice. So, finally, let's make this line. Select Null, press M, delete Mask 1, and select Null again. Go to Pen Tool. And let's make Mask like this. Okay, Clization tool, open mask, select this mask pad, control C, and let's delete null, select this again dot layer, control D, move to up, and press P, click here for delete keyframes and control V, select all passing keyframes and move to here. Okay, nice. And finally, let's duplicate these layers for loop animation. Okay, let's animation. Nice. So friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.